Acts 12. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the called out assembly. And he killed Yaakov, the brother of Yohanan, with the sword. And because he saw it please the Yehudim, he proceeded further to take Kepha also. Then were the days of matzah, unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quatrains of soldiers to keep him, intending after Pesach to bring him forth to the people. Kepha, therefore, was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of all the called out assembly unto Yahuwah for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night, Kepha was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door guarded at the prison. And behold, the angel of Yahuwah came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Kepha on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off from his hand. And the angel said unto him, Gird yourself, and bind on your sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast your garment about you, and follow me. He went out, and followed him. And he knew not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came into the iron gate, which leads into the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out, and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Kepha was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that Yahuwah has sent an angel, and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod, and from all the expectation of the people of the Yehudim. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Miriam, the mother of Yohanan, whose surname was Marcus, where many were gathered together praying. And as Kepha knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to hearken, named Rahodai. And when she knew Kepha's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Kepha stood before the gate. And they said unto her, You are mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. But Kepha continued knocking. And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he, beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how Yahuwah had brought him out of the prison. And he said, Go, show these things unto Yaakov and to the brethren. And he departed and went to another place. Now, as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers. What was become of Kepha? And when Herod had sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Yehud to Kekara and there abode. And Herod was highly displeased with them of Soar and Zidon. But they came to him with one accord and having made Blastus the king's chamberlain their friend, desired peace because their country was nourished by the king's country. And upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne, and made an oration to them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of an Elohim, and not of a man. And immediately the angel of Yahuwah smote him because he gave not Yah the glory, and he was eaten of worms and gave up his Ruach.
But the word of Yahuwah grew and multiplied. And Barnabi and Shaul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their ministry and took with them Yohanan, whose surname was Marcus.